This is a short video on adult daycare services. I've been getting a lot of questions about a video that I posted uh, some time back over starting an adult daycare center. And I know that I focused uh, initially on some EDI aspects and, and maybe also some software, but uh, I think that a lot of the community here is looking for a step-by-step -step guide. Um, I, I only have so much time that I can devote to special projects, but this seems to be an important one. So um, rather than wait, I thought what I would do is put together some pointers for those that are trying to start an adult daycare service, and I'll try to be to the point as I can. Um, so what I did was I put together a simple document that would say, okay, here's a step-by-step -step process. And I've listed these here, starting with do your research. Um, and the second point that I put on here, which I think is probably the most important point of all, and that is that there is some very, very good information from the Health and Human Services uh, website on licensing and certification. In fact, this uh, information that I've got right here that you see here is actually from that uh, website, uh, and you can find it right here. Uh, so if you could just uh, jump on your... A search engine and look for HHS uh, adult daycare certification uh, you it will go over licensing inspection um, the required services or, or I guess some of the training required and public funding and, and other details they also have a very nice uh, outline on the differences from state to state and I think that's one of the things that if you're starting an adult daycare center and you're starting to do your research on what certifications uh, are required, this outline here will show you the state, the license, uh, if license only is required, if certification is re required specifically or singularly, or if both are required and other requirements. And again, this table, which is a very helpful table for nationwide research, it kind of outlines that. Again, that comes from the HHS website, and you can glean that from there. Um, I would also encourage a, some emergency planning. If you're going to start an adult daycare center, you need to, to know who to call if uh, ambulatory care is needed uh, or, you know, poison control or if, if there's an accident. Um, certainly, you need to have um, software and documentation involved uh, so that you can uh, quickly uh, inform you know the the uh, relatives or whoever's bringing this uh, adult to the adult daycare you'll need to build your uh, legal documentation um, I was thinking about maybe putting some of this together but again I, I have some limited time so this is probably going to be on a on a commission basis if someone out there would like this to be put together, I can put together, but I simply, right now I can't build this kind of documentation without some sort of funding. So, um, put together, just know that you're going to need some legal documentation and contracts, you know, um, what the liabilities are, you know, or are not. Um, and then uh, I put on here, define your po target population. Um, you know, you might have a, an adult daycare center that is geared toward um, some sort of rehabilitation for sports injuries. It might not be the older folks. It, it might be specifically that. Or maybe it's only for, you know, those that are, are, you know, in a wheelchair, for example, or maybe those that are mobile. So whatever your population is, make sure that you define that so there's no surprises. And, you know, make sure that there's an employee rule book, something that uh, each of your workers are going to have to follow the rules. And, and this is for legal purposes as well. And uh, you can see that these are not done necessarily in order, but you need to define your costs. That means static costs like uh, rent, utilities, and then also variable costs. Uh, uh, maybe what it would cost for, you know, meals and that sort of thing and some sort of software and automation. Uh, so um, this is, like I said, a very brief overview. Uh, if any of you out there uh, in the channel uh, maybe have some other input, uh, I'm all ears, you know, stop by and leave a comment at the bottom or you can reach me at edi.dallas at zoho.com. I hope this has helped out. 
it's just been a quick overview. Again, Health and Human Services has some wonderful information on that uh, to get you going. Um, you know, lastly, when I work on this channel, a lot is on EDI and EDI related. But if you go that route, or if you start looking at that route, or you're billing, for example, Medicaid, they'll they'll pay for like a per diem. And in my opinion, uh, my non-professional opinion is just simply far too short. You know, I, when I last researched it, it was like 50 bucks and some states on the higher end might give $70, but most of them were around 40 to 50 bucks. And that could have changed recently, but I kind of doubt that. Uh, when uh, I talk with others that have done or, or work in adult daycare services, uh, they usually just simply charge the patient. Uh, this is a lot more financially viable than if you have a loved one that you want to go into the system. And, you know, this is a big drain, frankly, on the finances. And especially for those that have funding, it's simply uh, a lot more viable if they just use adult day daycare services. And the care provider does need a break if they're watching over an elderly parent. And that's your job. So I, I hope that if you go into this business, it's not just a financial thing, that you actually uh, care about uh, the seniors. Uh, you know, they're an important part of our community. And, and uh, so that's kind of the last piece, you know, make sure that you're that you're ready to, to provide the love and support that they need. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this video has helped out. And thanks for watching.